What's going on? The unclean man's seen me, that's all. While everybody was out. Very convenient. Oh, she was upset. Look at her mouth. Judy Mallet did that. Did she? Well, I dare say she deserved it. You what? Mum! Have you ever thought what guts it took for Judy to take that baby in, knowing it was her husband's? You should be feeling sorry for her not going round spreading wicked lies and making matters worse. I haven't spread nothing. I told Nick the truth, that's all. Well, Judy and Gary certainly heard, because Judy was round here last night. Yeah, cos Nick told his gran, and she told Arthur Weatherfield. Have you been round slagging her off today and all? Yeah. You just leave my mother out of oh, this. Can't I just drop this? I'm sick of all the aggro. Oh, really? Do you? You haven't really, Nick. <sighs> Tell me you haven't. We have, though. Oh, how many times? Look, let's just go and get some clothes on. <sighs> we have, Mum. If it was anybody else, you'd be sympathetic, not hard like this. Hard? Oh, that's a laugh, isn't it? You're the one that won't sleep with me. It doesn't mean you sleep with someone else. I haven't. Martin, I'm your wife. Yes, well, why don't you just act like one? You are. You come barging in here, demanding to know this and that, trying to run our lives, implying I don't know when to leave my kids. Well, it's a good thing for Sarah that I did, isn't oh, it? Oh, drop it, Martin. We've been through all that. Both you and I know there was nothing going on with Sam and that diary. Yeah, OK, maybe, but at least we found out in time, because I, I started asking questions. Yeah, and if you cared more about your family, you'd have thought twice before you ripped it apart. Oh, yeah, that's it, is it? Every time I start showing an interest, every time I've got something to say, you're just going to throw that back in my face, are you? No, David, leave it. No, I've had enough. You call yourselves parents. You said it'd get better. You promised. Only it's not. It's worse now than when you were together. After all I've told you. I know. And if you wanted to make a fire, you should have waited for your dad. My dad doesn't live here anymore. He comes when we ask him. To sort out the rubbish. David, you could have been hurt. I can't do anything right. You saw what it did to Bethany's clothes. It could have done the same to you. I wasn't anywhere near it. What if I'd have been at work? What if you'd have tried to put it out yourself? I did do. No, only because Sam and Matt got there first. I was in here with David, you. David, you could have been burnt to death. I want me dad. I want me dad. Oh, my God. You say what you've just said and expect a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> then what do you expect? Because it can only be one answer. You had to know you had to. You could have stopped Maxine from being killed, but you didn't do a flaming thing. My mum didn't know, honest. Grand, please, will you tell him? You go on. Tell me. Do you think I'd say nothing if I knew he tried to kill me, ma'am? And Maxine. You remember Maxine, don't you? Of course you do. You were there at the funeral when your husband got up and told the whole world how lovely she was. Oh, but you didn't think. Where was he for them ten minutes? Fifteen. How long it took him to bash her head in? You leave her alone! Jewel it, mate. Jewel it. Are you still covering for him while he gets away, oh, are you? Come on, I think this is doing no good. Please! I'm so sorry! Sorry? Sorry for what? Sorry that you don't get to play happy families in your big new home. Well, away for me and our Joshua! My God, Sarah was right. You've turned into a complete control freak. You seen Sarah? I wish she... Better now she's away from you. How dare you? How dare you throw away a job I really wanted? You'll get a job here. A good it's job. It's not just about the job. What are you doing meddling in my life? Nikki! I'm not Nikki! I'm not a child and neither is Sarah. I'm 22 years old and I am going to London. You, wasn't it? Phoned social services, said we weren't fit to look after Beth. Don't deny it. I'm not denying anything. Do you hate us that much? No, I love you that much. You're pathetic. I don't expect you to understand. Not yet. But I'm stopping you doing further damage. And what if they'd taken her into care, Mum? How much damage would that have done? You think I'd let Bethany go into care? You really don't know me, Sarah. Social services would place her here, where she's safe and loved. She's loved where she is. She's not safe. 
Is she? Imagine if she died from that electric shock. Think of the years of guilt, wishing you'd done something different, that you could turn back the clock. She didn't die, though, did she? Not this time, no. She's safer with us than you. If I had to choose between us staying here and being put in care, I'd choose care! I'm a liar! He is no pervert! I'm sorry, OK? I'm sorry, but it's over now and I won't do it again. Oh, of course you will. You have done it! I was just about to tell you. In Sarah's bed! I'm sorry. Sorry! I'll make you sorry! Leave him alone! Come on, Mum! You get my daughter pregnant, run off with another man, and all you can say is sorry! Stop it! You've nothing to be ashamed of, Sarah! It's him that's in the wrong, and I want everyone to know it! Get inside! Gail! This is a bad situation for everyone! No one wanted this to happen! I think it suits you! I think you planned it! Don't be stupid! Just get inside! It was your idea to move into that flat! It was your idea to get married! Yeah, cos I loved and her! Sarah couldn't believe her luck! I still do! It was your idea to have a baby! Yeah, if she didn't take my persuading, did she? She never does! And you were happy! Cos it's the only chance you're gonna get the grandchild of that pervert! Go home, Gail! Some of us have got to get up in the Oh, morning. no, you don't. Get your hands off me. Well, get your hands off my fella. I haven't touched your fella. Shirley, leave her alone. Get off me, Shirley. Is this what this is all about? I saw him coming out of your house last night. I saw him in my own eyes. Well, you better get your eyes tested, you silly girl. He's building a bed for Bethany. Huh? Do you seriously expect me to believe that? I won't push her, you know. David, uh, go back to bed. What do you think you're doing, David, you? get inside. Are you scared of his mother seeing her as an old slapper? Who are you calling a slapper? Oi! Rowing it straight, you lower it down. Oh, go on, Shelley, smack her on. You lay one finger on me and I'll call the police. David, get the phone. There's no need for that, girl. Oh, isn't there? I'm not going to have any old drunk turn up on my doorstep and accuse me of being a slut. I think is the word you're looking for, Gail. Maria's right. Everything she said was spot on. You've done everything you can to keep us apart. That's a lie! It's the truth! Maria saw what you were up to. You were determined to split us up from the start. You don't care about my happiness, just as long as you can keep me in your precious little house. You can Leave me alone! Oh, Mum, stop get it! Out. Selfish! You're ungrateful! Be selfish! You're such a good look at yourself! As long as you're with her, I don't want to see you again! That's it. You were checking up on him lying about the place being flooded. Oh, David. What have I ever done to you? Do you want a list? OK, so you don't trust me. No, it's me he doesn't trust. Do you? I'm looking out for you. David! Most mothers would be grateful. We're helping Phil out in a crisis. I'm not moving him in by the back door. Why? Because you're so desperate to hang on to him, you don't care about me. I just get in the way. That's enough! Just... You're so desperate you'll go with anyone. No matter what they do to us, because all you cared about is you. Never me. All you cared about is hanging on to a man because you can't face being left old and alone. David, I'm sorry. You're just like him. No! Get off! No, David! Or did you think you were so clever, so cunning, that no one would ever find out it was you? I don't know. You could carry on sending card after card. How long did you intend to carry on for, David? Six months? A year? Two? 
just meant to be like a one-off. Schoolboy prank, that sort of thing. Yeah. Sending your sister a birthday card from a murderer. I just thought it was funny. Funny? What sort of sense of humour do you have? A sick one. Obviously. Cos you enjoyed ruining Sarah's birthday so much, scaring us all out of our wits, that you thought, I'll do it again. Three, four times. That'll really get them going. It got out of hand, Mum. I know that. You stood in this very room when that first card arrived and swore. You swore to me that it wasn't you. How could you do that, David? How could you lie? Other people lie. I'm not the only one. You don't even look sorry. Just vaguely annoyed that you got found out. No, I am sorry. I don't think you realise what serious trouble you're in. You have set out deliberately to cause fear and misery to everyone in this family. This has been hanging over us for weeks, months. We've had sleepless nights. I'm on pills, for God's sake. The neighbours thought I was sending those cards to myself, that I'm mad. I thought I was going mad. You knew this. You watched it happen, and you carried on sending those cards. It's a wonder anybody ever believes a word he says. Well, it's clear you don't. You are coming with me. No, I'm not. You are coming with me now, and you are going to apologise. You say I've got to see. Yeah, me and all. <laughs> Proud of yourself, are you? Putting a little girl in hospital. Dare you bring drugs into my house? More than How dare you threaten my family? I have done all wrong. Think it's cool, do you? Selling drugs, do you? Come with me now to the hospital. Come and see my Bethany lying on a ventilator and tell me it's cool! Hey, hey, what's going on? He's the one that put Bethany in hospital. He sold drugs to our David. Is this true? No. Look, Mum, it, it went all to do with him, all right? I made it up. You told me. Yeah, I know, but I panicked. I mean, it was the first thing that came into my head. I'm sorry. Get in there! Now! Right. Out. Well, where am I supposed to go? I don't care. I just want you out. Mum, I know you're upset and angry, and I don't. I'm not you. angry. I've done angry. I'm just past caring. I mean, isn't something childish like playing truant or not turning up for your exams? It's not even something nasty, like them cards you sent. It's something much worse. So I want you to go. And I want you to stay away until you can prove you've changed your ways. So go on. You've just been waiting for someone like this to come along, and any old excuse just to get rid of me. Don't you dare try and make me feel guilty. I didn't want any of this. You brought it all on yourself. Now get out. I've got a phone call to make. You can tell her he's on his way. You can tell her to put some lippy in, but I'll tell you, if you say anything about Becky, I swear, if you ruin my son's happiness, I will have you in the morgue by tea time. Look, you'd be delighted if they split up. He loves her! He's got a funny way of showing it. Gail. Gail! If you told Sarah, any chance of them finding happiness is over. Is that really what you want? I'm protecting my daughter. She needs to know what a precious husband's done. Did you miss Moral High Ground 2008? Moral? You don't know the meaning of the word. What's that supposed to mean? It's not just Jason, is it? Comings and goings in that house is like a flaming bordello. Do you know, I wonder you don't get a red bull for the whole you, life. You're mental oh, little... You're slamming down one iter, sir! Oh, 
come on. You think I'm scared of you? Well, you're flaming should be! That's just silly. Hey? Can't have a Grimshaw baby in the family. Get rid, cover it up. Is that what happened to Billy? Sarah was devastated when Billy died. We all were. Did you hold her hand? What? It's a simple question, Mum. Did you hold my girlfriend's hand while you killed my baby? No, I did not! Well, did you go with her? What? Eh? Did you? Yes. You're not going anywhere! No? Why? Are you scared I might kill myself? Frankly, yes! Are you? Well, I don't care. I did it because I love you! I hate you! What? Maybe you hate yourself. I don't think. You walked out of here last night after saying he needed taking in hand. I didn't mean my hand. I didn't mean thumping him. I just needed some space. I spent the night in my van thinking things through. What? That, that's your alibi, is it? I don't need an alibi. How can you think I did this? How can you think I'd be capable? A month ago, I didn't think you'd be capable of breaking into the medical centre. I don't feel I know you anymore, Joe. I don't know what you're capable of. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't do this. I didn't do this. On my Tina's life. Okay. You! It was for us, Gail! For us! We had the chance of a fresh start! We still have. Where? The poor house, the bankruptcy court? You are leaving me for the vultures. Whatever happens, I'll stand by you. You know what? I'll pass on the whole support thing. I'm better off on my own. Where are you going? What do you care? I'm not responsible for the mess you're in. Yes, yeah, so I'm starting to wonder about that. And what's that supposed to mean? You really want to know? OK. You're a jinx. You happy now? When it comes to the male of the species, you're the equivalent of Tutankhamun's curse. Before we met, life was on the up. Well, I wasn't exactly setting the world alight, but I was holding my own. Now look at the state of me. Look at me! Oh, no, you're scaring me! And to think, in them early days when you subjected me to the Gale Platt School of Pain, I actually felt sorry for you. I said to myself, how can any woman have that much bad luck with blokes? Fast forward 18 months and suddenly it all makes sense. Bad luck, you make your own luck. Oh, and it's mugs like me who'll pay the price. Any of this. That doorway should have a sign over it. Fellas, abandon hope, all ye who enter. All right, back off. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, no wonder this one tried to kill you. It was self-defence. The lad deserves a flaming medal. I'm warning you, walk away. Excuse me. Yeah, take her away. Been then. giving your mother lessons, have you, Gail? Or oh, those are big duds. <gasps> Gail. <gasps> Ken, do something! Oh, what a shot! She oh, was locking up again! This time I'll be guilty! Oh, 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 get off! Get off! He's seduced me, Audrey. He seduced both of us. Got off, didn't you? You only spent a few weeks inside. I was innocent! Ooh, well, so you say, but I reckon your story had more holes in it than Joe's boat. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Any trouble around here must be my fault. Yeah. Yes, I bet you do. This is my mother you're conning with your oily gigolo ways. That is enough. Come on out. I don't have to stand here and listen to all this rubbish in my own. No, you'd rather listen grand. to his rubbish like she's a silly, stupid you're school a tyrant. Person. She's school only trying girl. to save. Get her. out, 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 and don't come back. Let me come. At least she's chucked us out. Do you know what? Maybe we do have something in common. Really? Yeah. Because I sometimes feel like that. That everybody's against me. Especially people in this family. Especially you. Stop mother. it! 
You know, you're supposed to look back on your childhood and it's supposed to be happy, innit? Everybody's supposed to be getting on. Well, mine wasn't like that, though, was it? David! Why? Because we didn't get on, did we? David! Tell me why. David! Why, why wasn't it like that? What? What? But we've got to take him with us. It's good they could fit you in. Ugh, it'll be a waste of time. <gasps> Max! Oh, what? No, Max! your head's full of rubbish. Right, out. Max! Dare you set foot in this house after everything you've done? All right, Bethany, looking nice as usual. Don't you speak to her. Don't you even look at her. And he's not worth it. No, he's not, because he's scum, and that's all he'll ever be. Oh, you better watch your mouth, Grant. I'm not in the mood for this. No, neither am I. I've had enough of you threatening me, me mother, me family. I want you out of here. No! <laughs> I'll see you later. This house. And don't you come back! Call her off, boy, before this. Now hold on. Michael is no victim. Well, you have killed him on that settee. I mean, talk about a praying mantis. I don't know why you just didn't gobble him up and have done it. Oh, no, no, hey, no, you no, mad no, cow! No, no, Help! You're all right, man. I can manage on my own. Look, yeah, will you stop oh. this, please? It was a moment of madness. It meant absolutely nothing. It meant nothing. Not a thing. Are you telling me you have no feelings for my husband? If? I mean, no, I mean, well, he's not my type. But you knew he was my type. My husband, who I love. And that's why you did it, to spite me, you vicious... Uh, no! No! Ow! Oh, I'll be you up! Gail, oh, you stay here. where you are if you know you what's good for you. You need locking up if you do out! Nitty, and you still have your teeth. I have given you fair warning. Nick, oh, Nick, do something! Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Look what you've done to my jacket. Well, I've done you a favour, cos you look like wee Jimmy Cranky. What's going on? Since when did these two have an evening excuse? She kissed Michael. Oh. I know you're desperate, Mother, but that's practically grave robbing. Business your way, the amount of husbands she's buried. Yeah, loads of them. Well, your track record's nothing to write home about, Eileen Grimshaw. Grim by name, grim by nature. Don't you pick on my bestie. She's had a, a run of bad luck, that's all. Can I buy you a coffee, George? Help you to stay awake. Oh, and if you're having a quiet week at the funeral parlour, you should get her in. Sorry, you've lost me. Well, she can bore people to death. Get her to tell them all about her blazer collection. You're just jealous that's what's wrong with you. Jealous of you? <laughs> you, of all people. You see me sat here, all petite and chic, enjoying life to the full. And you're green with envy. Oh, dream on flouncing about in your tabard thinking you're God's gift. <laughs> Come on, George. I've had enough of this fouling up the air with her vile comments. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>